I'm like, I'm gonna die. Cause I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh yeah, it's over with. This is dying. Uh -huh. That's their new name. We gotta call them that. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm gonna be with. Hey y'all, it's the Set the Record Straight podcast. It's episode 13. I'm your girl, Caviar Sundays, Coochie Connoisseur, Philanthropist. Big bar breaker. I just dropped a single called Love Game. So y'all go check that out. It's on all streaming platforms. Go check that out. Yeah. I saw the little snippet. Uh, oh, yeah. I dropped it today. Yeah. Was you laying on the couch with your stomach mm, out? I got a little, little ab out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, a you. little do-rag on. <laughs> do-rag. What the do-rag mean? Is that like a, some type of... Well, I had really short hair. The but introduce oh, okay. yourselves. Because, I, I mean, in her world, everything means something. So I got to No, 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 no. <laughs> I just used to have... At that time, I had really short hair and I had waves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that was cute on you, yeah. With, and then Everybody loved the waves. I went, I, I'm thinking about going back to it this nah, summer. Nah, grow your hair out. No, it was cute. It's hair to always grow back. Nah, grew and back. I'm like, I'm and like, I'm Spanish, nigga. I'm for sure going to grow back. I like the waves. They were real cute. Like, yeah. it was, um, it was cute. It was like a, yeah. Like yeah, a everybody, everybody loves the, the waves. You was going to do back. it mine. That's what I'm saying. I might go back. That's yeah. the only way I'm going to dye my hair. I cute. like the Nipsey braids, though. Thank you. I'm oh. not a fan. But it's your boy, Von Ray, y'all. I like feel good. We back with another episode, episode 13. Set the record straight podcast. <laughs> we vibing and having fun. I'm pretty sure she's going to put some of that pre-conversation we had in, but I make sure she won't put some of the Thank stuff you. that we talked about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right, right, right. Um, go ahead, Celine. Celine Alexandria, what's up, y'all? Content creator, travel, fitness, lifestyle. Thanks for everyone that tuned in to Put a Ring on It on Network episode. I found out I was on episode three, too. But episode two and three, um, I'd have to know a season, season four. So thanks to everybody who tuned in and like was taking pictures and snap, snapping me. I just seen the episode this week. So yeah, you got good. some followers off of it. I don't know. A lot of a lot of people hit me up. A couple of people hit me up and was like, hey, I saw you're from the put uh, set it off, set it off. See, because you're being shady. <laughs> set the, <laughs> exactly. set the record, <laughs> set the record straight podcast. Oh. And I just seen you on that show, put a ring on it. So that was cool because I followed the, set the record and straight And your nigga podcast. was cool with you going on there. I don't got no nigga, so it oh, don't really okay. matter. So, My yeah. bad. <laughs> 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 I, I'm just dating, so. So was yeah. you like, Nobody was you up. wasn't dating a nigga for real? It was just for the show? Uh, I won't say that. Um, It was just, to me, on the, sec on the third episode, he said he didn't give me another date because I felt he felt like I wasn't that into him. But that's why I kind of didn't want to meet his girl because it's like, who really want to go on, on a date? And you, mm -hmm. that's like how you on a date. I didn't met you know your girl. Like, girl. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It, yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm being respectful, and you yeah. know, like I, I didn't, I didn't get that whole concept. A lot of people don't understand the concept of the show, and so. Why would he really want you to like him though? If right. He gotta... If he really trying to like see if he want to marry this girl and I. Is that so, like some polygamy shit they trying to do or something? That's what I. That, in my confession, that's what I said. I they say, do you want to meet her? I said no because I'm not into the put for, for, uh, single uh, first wife. What is that? Yeah, sister wives sister and the uh, LDS community and polygamy. I'm not in all What's of that. LDS. That's the community that oh. they live in. Like yo, you know what I found out? The upside down pineapple. Yeah, that means you're a swinger. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. I'm, I'm, I just, really? yeah. yeah. Okay. When you ever see that. that. I'm, I'm what telling is you. the sign for that you're straight anymore? I don't even, do we have anything? Like, straight people, can we come up with something nowadays? I don't know. Like, I don't think y'all need anything. I think y'all got everything. Like, God damn. That's like white people asking for a holiday. So for an upside <laughs> down pineapple. And being a swinger. Means that you're a swinger. Oh, and the unicorn means that either if, if it's a couple that got a unicorn somewhere, that means that they looking for a third. And then if, if you, mm -hmm. you just a single person, you got a unicorn. That means, that means like, you're willing to be a third. To, yeah. That's what they I've, been, I've been a third. I've dated a couple before. <laughs> You've been a third? Uh -huh. To who? Two girls or mm -hmm. a guy and a two girl? Two girls. Oh, I dated free. two girls and uh, when I lived really in New York. You into that life, girl. You I feel like you, it's okay life. to try anything once. I agree. This is the only time I ever dated I a couple before. I, I haven't oh, it was just one? Mm -hmm. Most of us get pulled. We dated for like maybe like now. five, six months. How do you cool. keep your feelings out of touch? Like, <laughs> there are a couple. Why, I, why would I you catch just, feelings like, for a couple? Y'all fun and play. Like, it ain't really about you. I mean, it, it wasn't a super physical type of relationship. We just uh, spent a lot of time together. We liked each other. You know what I'm saying? Super physical, but y'all still was fun. Here and there. Okay. A little, a little, a little shadig, but yeah, it was mostly just, yeah. just like hanging out and spending time together, doing things together. Or I could tell if they was like beefing with each other. You, you know, one would just... come spend time with me, or vice versa. Oh, y'all did alone shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, 
Yeah, so I spent like time with both of them, and right. I would spend time separately. Yeah, that ain't, I ain't going to And y'all kept that. that going for a good like five, six months. I used to have a coworker that bad. said that she dated, um, she was gay, gay, but she dated two twins, and she said all three of them was in the freak? same. That's a little weird, a little bit. Yeah. Two twins? I mean, I feel like well, future. You I got real sisters. Two, I won't say two twins, but she dated twins, if not four people. And they passed her back and, and forth, yeah. but they did it all together. I guess the three of them just did it together. I'm that's not that's weird. Crazy. I'm not doing nothing yeah, with my sister. That's kind of crazy. Before. Yeah, I, I see. Separately. I ain't even finna let my uh-huh. siblings see me naked at thirty. So I. Ain't, yeah, <laughs> no, it's that's not, weird. I, well, no, I mean, I it was, it's matter. a lot of twins, women twins on the they internet do be doing that. that do that, like the double dose twins, like the Claremont, what's the little Instagram twins the that be doing six nines. Who's that? He be buying them Birkins and shit. The two twin, the light skinned girls. They got OnlyFans together. And sh- we saw them at the pool party that time. You remember? What's yeah, their name, baby? I don't know. But I know the Double Dose twins and the Claremont twins for sure. Like, Claremont twins. They for always sure. used to be out, like, like rubbing on each other. And, like, and they, and they say the Double Dose twins are cool girls, but, like, People, I always used to say it's like a, it's a difference between rubbing because my girl be dancing on her sisters no, in the club and stuff too. It's like they always together and they look just alike, so it's like the same dude. Yeah, I think once it comes to like the bedroom, it's a little too much. Like, so you, you think know, I don't need to be having sex in the it's same like the room as my sibling. Gonna be attracted to both of them, but they do a lot of photography and stuff like both of those. Oh, that type sets. of thing. Yeah, so mm-hmm. they be real sexual with each other. Like the Claremont twins, they be like real like. I mean, shit. They 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 probably like fuck it. We get a bag. Why not? Yeah, I mean, you I don't see money, nothing wrong with it. it. Kinda, but then it is kind of like. Then they all then they go to jail or something for killing that guy. And them running his... They didn't kill him. Well, he had a heart attack or something. They ran his car. They just didn't report it. I think. But like going, like, I don't mean to laugh, but that's crazy. It's only one of them that did it though. But yeah. it's like it, it gets to a point. Like, are y'all eating each other coochies, or what are y'all doing? Yeah, it like, can't be that. Like, yeah, I, don't, be that I, don't, I don't think I don't they took it that far. That. Yeah. I, I can't imagine you like having. Se- well, you know, well, some people do, I think but. they. I think my homegirl probably did because, like, if they was all in a relationship together, I think it's a difference between them tag teaming her than them doing stuff with each other. I don't know because I didn't ask my homegirl. I didn't ask my coworker because I was yeah, just like, wow. That. But yeah. Interesting. I think that's more incest. And I think you a nasty motherfucker. Yeah, incest like, is definitely terrible. Y'all daddies and mama ain't make y'all for y'all to be doing okay, all that together. It's also not six billion people in the world and you feel like the person you got to be fucking on is your sister. Sisters, just like you. Yeah. Close sisters, they be obsessed with each other. You think it's like a narcissism thing? No. Or it's because they like in a womb together? And no, they just can't. sisters like her and her sisters. Me and my sisters are like that. They like so them, locked in. We so locked they can in. hate each other today, talk shit about each other mm-hmm. today, be ready to fight today, and tomorrow <laughs> they be back cool. Well, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I mean, my like sister, sister, sister is. Hell no. Nah, if I fuck you, like, that's what I be on. <laughs> but with her, like, bruh, because she'll come to me and be like, da 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 da. And before I used to sit here and conversate, I'd be mad still. Like, what they done did. <laughs> right, hell no, Tomorrow, they right. be cool. Like, chill, chill. <laughs> but I think also for women, a lot of times, we we get into shit with our siblings and it'd be like, all right, bitch, whatever, bye. It'd be pain. And it, but if my sister call me and she needs something, I could be beefed out with my sister, but she call me and be like, all right, we got to go beat this bitch ass. Nah, I, I ain't doing nothing. We, I guess we, I'm going to take my anger that I got on her out on the bitch that we about to go beat up. Like. I done been there, done that. I done <laughs> Beat my sister boyfriends up before uh-uh, she yeah, done got yeah, mad at me. We talked about I, that. Yeah. I ain't doing none of that. She called me right now and say a nigga put a hand on like what you did. No, I mean like a bitch that is being wild, disrespectful yeah. to her or something like that. I ain't my doing sister's none of that. straight. My sister's my not sister that. wild and disrespectful. Well, I, so I, I hope know, the girl beat your ass. Like that's what I be on. Oh my god! Like I'm not. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm not finna fight. I done been down that road before. I'm not finna do nothing <laughs> like that no more. I ain't no. saying nothing, y'all, because I'm, I'm my only child. So that's oh, why yeah. I'm not saying yeah. nothing. Yeah, my sister, me and my sister be getting in spats, and she be like, we're not sisters no more. I'm like, bitch, if you don't shut up, like, yeah. whatever. They, call, they know I love them, but if they, it got to be life or death. But yeah, I think it's also. All the other in-between shit, I'm not fucking It with. also come down to how much people hold on grudges. Like, I don't hold grudges. Unless, like, it's over money. That's the only time I really beef out with niggas for real. But I don't other hold than that, grudges. I, don't really I just been grudges. too much shit with them. Like, I done yeah. learned too much yeah. shit between money, between... <laughs> Fighting for them, it's like I'm not. If it's not life or death, they know not to call me. I don't know. That's everybody, weird. I take everybody the same because I don't have no sisters and brothers, so yeah. like I can take and leave any human really, except for my parents. Like I don't give yeah. a fuck. Well, um, no, it ain't just me. Hey, it's just me. About that. <laughs> yeah. So, so you were you have connection issues? Uh, I wouldn't say connection issues, but I would say it's it's cl- it's harder for me to be more vulnerable and um like let my guard down. To like friendships and stuff, yeah. Cause I don't know you. Like I ain't sharing nothing. I don't know you. Like, like okay, 
Go. I don't give. I don't care. Cause like you ain't my sister. You ain't my blood. I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah. and I don't have yeah. that. You know. And my parents just me and my parents. So them them like my role I fall out with hell. my parents like that. <laughs> yeah, but. she sounds spoiled as hell. Like me and my parents. Like it is. that's lit though. Yeah, like, so, you the you the cousin. We go to your house. You don't want us to play with none of your shit. Like, because I keep it very nice. And <laughs> I you. hate them type of cousins. Like, you selfish ass <laughs> motherfucker. You know I came over here to fuck with your shit, and you like don't touch this and that. Nah, I'll be ready I wasn't to go. Like that. I was very sharing because I was a sociable little girl. Just like now, I'm very sociable, so I'll share anything. Or you can mm-hmm. stay as long as you want over my house. But like, as far as like you doing some little crazy shit, I don't. I don't got. Okay, bye bye. Like, I don't yeah. have the tolerance. I'm. I'm not very connected. So I guess no, so that's it's good that you're able issue. to just like let it go but though. i'm able to like read people very quick yeah. and I, that's not a good thing but i don't yeah, know if sometimes it can be a good thing because people yeah. like me i'd be giving two people too many chances i'd be like man i ain't mean to do that because i think too much about how i wouldn't move i wouldn't move like that i wouldn't do something like that I'd so be I'd be, my downfall be giving niggas yeah i'd be giving niggas too many chances but I now I'm, I'm, well, I'm i say before because now i'd be like all right sure. fuck you actually like you got Mm-mm. me fucked up I'm, i don't, I don't fuck do with that. you and a lot of times when i really fuck with somebody and they do some fuck shit i'd be thinking like was you like this the whole time? Like, yeah, they were. Right. They were. So Where did this come I from? I don't like, ever give you that same chance or exactly. opportunity no more. Like, we might be still cool. We might still go out. But you'll never get me back I vulnerable in my I inner circle. Once I get to that, I don't even want to go out. I don't want to fuck with you. because I, I don't mind. Like, Let's I had a friend. Bread. You got to keep your enemies close. I had a friend. And he went behind my back and did some shit after I got shot. And he was having a conversation. This is how crazy it is, y'all. I ain't never even talked about this shit because I don't want to get his lame ass nigga no light. But I ain't you don't say never want to get his lame nigga no light on the <laughs> I ain't gonna say. I ain't going to say his name, though, but I'm going to tell y'all. Say his fucking name. name. No, I'm joking. Look no like he was last, but the last time I was on a podcast. What's the name? What's the What's name? name? Yeah. What's his name? No, I'm joking. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll say that shit now. I ain't, I'll say that shit now. Like, don't hey, if y'all really nah, want nah, me to nah, say nah, this nah, shit, nah, I'll say it. recovering from being petty and messy, so he can't do that. Man, fuck it. I'm a gangster nigga. His name, my my friend Mayday, the nigga mm-hmm. uh, really locked in with the nigga. Used to work out with a nigga. You probably know the nigga. He from the law for whatever yeah. when I used to train. I really fucked with the nigga hard. Like mm-hmm. the nigga was going through shit. I was there for the nigga, all type of shit. And this lame ass nigga, after I got shot, I guess he felt like I don't know how niggas take accountability for like me meeting who I met. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever. So when I got shot, he felt like he wasn't in the know of what was going on. Like, so what you supposed to call him from the hospital? Nigga, I'm fighting for my fucking <laughs> right, life. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? What like, you mean in the know of like he want to know what happened. He calling mm-hmm. people and nobody telling him anything. But the thing about it is, mm-hmm. nobody telling you shit because they don't know shit. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. We still trying to figure out what happened. We still trying to figure out what's going on. And then I'm unconscious and fighting for my life. You think the first thing I'm gonna think about is calling Mayday. your goofy ass? Mayday. You feel what I'm saying? Ring. Hey, that makes sense. His name is Mayday, so he figured it was a Mayday Mayday Man, situation. this shit is so fucking lame. So, <laughs> boom. <laughs> nigga, the lamest song. shit he did, the shit I was going through on the internet with this chick, this nigga calls this chick and, like, Uh-oh. basically has, like, a heart-to-heart with her, like, yeah, this nigga ain't shit. Oh, he damn. ain't tell me what's going on. Like, when he got shot, like... Yeah, it's at least somebody got him. And then he slick was trying to holler at the girl. Like, So wait, did he not come to the hospital? I was no. Say, why couldn't he call so, your, why why couldn't he he reach, current girl? Yeah. Like, because literally, literally, out. he called her, but she wasn't going to tell him that. Oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, we don't Which, know what's going on right. for me to tell you anything, my nigga. We don't know if you did it. Because the way you sounded on this recording, <laughs> nigga, I probably think you shot me. You get know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you, And then now you so in your mind mad that you telling her like, well, at least somebody finally got that lame ass nigga. What? Bruh. I don't take that kind of And the crazy part is when I was sitting here listening to this shit, I was thinking like, how could you even say half the shit you were saying? Then was just also trying to like make himself look good. Like he done helped me do so much with my life and helped me come up. I'm like, nigga, when and where? Like, Mm, never. That's kind of crazy to say at least somebody got you and then act like you. Bruh, the shit was so mm, lame. That's crazy. I was just like, you cheer. never know like who your friend is that mm. really be hating on you, mm-hmm. really be envious of you, really want your motherfucking life. And if they, if y'all even do anything together, like work out together, mm-hmm. like the most I could say this nigga was ever helping me with was 
recording my workout videos and giving me workouts to do and post on Instagram. Well, let's not give him no more. Right, life. and if I say, let's also cheers to yeah. not connect with no lame ass yeah. niggas exactly. like that. Exactly. Because that's crazy. But this shit was just fucking yeah. stupid. Like, yeah. I just, I, that's why it's hard for me to make friends. I'm always in the back of my mind now thinking like, niggas, you really a friend or you really on some bullshit? I'm do y'all find, it, do y'all find <laughs> it difficult to trust people? Hell yeah. It's got trust issues. I don't, I don't find it difficult to trust people. I trust you until you break, break your trust. trust. I'm not saying away. Trust so I'll trust you, but t- well... It depends, it's and a intimately, low level yeah. Of yeah. But I say I'm not intimately, leave my keys to my house with you. Yeah, yeah. I don't I even think, think at this point in my life, I don't even think about the trust. So like, for you, is you got to earn your trust? It ain't even that. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think about it either because I'm not giving nobody that much. Because when you say yeah. earn, at this point in my life, with what I done been through, with being what did that shot mean? by my own family member, yeah. What did that I, about, mean? I got shot by my own family member. So in my mind, it ain't about me. You having to because you probably couldn't prove to me how much I could trust you. With the shit I've been through with niggas, I really thought I could trust. It's nothing mm-hmm. you can prove to me. That's at that something point. that's an. Now action. I feel that because I had somebody I was super super close with, I thought I could trust, and I found out they was trying to yeah. kill one of my family members. Like, at this point, that, it's I nothing it. nobody could prove to me to say, "Oh, I'm showing you, nigga. You can't show me that because I, I grew up with this nigga since diapers, and the nigga tried to offer me like, yeah, just be you and let yeah. me just love that's you for who you say, are, and then it'll come out eventually. It'll come out. I think that's why I just. When somebody just fall out of being I'm cool with, I don't care because I really didn't hold that much value of your trust anyway. Like, I didn't trust you from the get-go, get so. Yeah. I, I didn't but I will say my trust is easily broken, though. Yeah. It's easy yeah. to break my trust. Like, I'll give it to you, but, like, the moment you do something, I, like you said, I'm always going to be second-guessing now. Like, damn, I don't know if I can trust you for real. But people will give you signs, but we overlook them. Yeah. Shit, I don't. I'll be like, oop, gotta back up. I overlook. <laughs> you flake on me like twice, and you don't even yeah. tell me you're not coming, and I had to find out from like somebody else that, oh, but okay, this a wrap. I overlooked right. a lot I of shit with that. Well, even with the situation I was just telling, I overlooked a lot of shit. I had a lot of people that used to come to me and be like, man, that nigga be talking shit about you, but when you be around, he be acting like he love you. You know, I could never be cool mm. with somebody like, but... But see, the, in my mind, I'm thinking this is my friend, but I'm thinking the nigga telling me is the fucking hater. Both of them. Mm. You get what I'm saying? I be like... Niggas like, why do you feel so comfortable with divulging that information exactly. to me? Exactly. I'm like, yeah. well, if he said all that about me, why the fuck you... What did you say? Right, why right. did you say back? Yeah, I feel I feel the same way when people are bone collectors and they bring that information. They yeah. think they being... And then unless you, in return, was like, well, this is what I said. I had to let them know. Like, mm-hmm. that wasn't going to fly. But that was never the case. So, right. in my mind, I'm thinking, like, nah, nigga, you the hater. With you, yeah. And maybe you took it out of context of what he's saying. Right. And it didn't been times I brought it to his attention. Like, nigga, you said something. You said, he's like, man, you know I ain't said it like that. What I was telling the nigga was. And then I'd be like, oh, okay, okay. It makes sense. Yeah, you could put two and two together. But but the. Um... But it, it was really all brainwashing at the time. The nigga <laughs> oh, was really just on some bullshit. Really been a hate. Yo, people are fucking psychotic, yo. Psychotic, bro. The great people are Bishop crazy for real. That, um, the great Bishop Kevin Gates. The great Bishop Kevin Gates. Oh God! What did he tell us? I made this up right now. But he said, "Once you showed me a fly, my fallback game in full effect." Mm. So I definitely see flaws very early in relationships, and I just pull back like little by little, little. But MFs be predators. (laughs) Motherfuckers do be predators. Predators, for real. Oh God! Speaking of predators, though, um, we got this whole new thing of. Surviving our kids, surviving May Day sound like for Vine. Oh, God, Lee. <laughs> so it's not funny, y'all, though, but surviving our kids. No, it's Kelly, funny as hell. It's just crazy how people be weirdos out here. Yeah. Is that really mm-hmm. what it is? Like, why are everybody a weirdo? Why can't find the same people? Like, but um, the infatuation. Surviving our, yeah, surviving our Kelly got this third part. Just came out. And Vine then pulled up this song, y'all. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Yo. When Aaliyah was 13, we, can't, was, we wish we could play the song. I'm going right? to explain. Yeah. I wish we could play the song. Yeah. Really, so you, listen, when Go I... Go look it up, y'all. I was just so happily on... Because I, um, I rarely watch TV. Yeah. But I was like, when I seen the Surviving R. Kelly and it said part three, I, I said, watched Did I, that? I didn't even. I'm like, dang, why are we... What's this part three? But it's the no, trial and... It's, it's them talking about the shit. It's them bringing it more detail. It's like... Mm-hmm. And then the people saying what they thought was going to happen through during the trial, trial. and shit. So... So it's but more, it's the survivors, literally. Like It's always been a survivor. It's always been. I, I'm not going to lie. Well, people that I, work with I haven't really yeah, watched it. It's been that since the beginning. Though. Yeah. Yeah. But I hate to say it because at first I used to be thinking like, these these women just trying to take a black man down. But this nigga really was sick as fuck. Mm-hmm. And when I really think about it, it's like some of the women that was of age that was like, they met him when they was 25. They met him when he was 26 and he did all this crazy shit to him. 
that's different. Because to me, it's like, yeah, he did some crazy shit, but you of age and you allowed a lot of this shit. And maybe you allowed it because he was a celebrity and you wanted to be around somebody with a big name and probably hopefully benefit something off of it. He was a predator. It. He predated you know yeah, on um, vulnerable people. Yeah. And, and maybe that's what it was because you just ain't have shit and yeah. you wanted something for your life. Cool. Also, not it's the very fine line of like not knowing how to speak up and be like, I'm not comfortable with this. Exactly. Yeah, and true. not wanting to put yourself in the girl that ain't going to do shit that he want to do because mm-hmm. you want to be around yeah. this now, It's a real slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. So in my mind, them women, it's kind of like, uh, you were, maybe it was some domestic shit, but it really wasn't like he was no predator. But these young girls that's coming out is a totally different story. Yeah. Well, I don't know. He had people chained up and stuff. So I feel like it was a little bit past domestic. I don't know if they were like, but now when they say chained up, what? nowadays people would take that as a fetish or some shit like but she that. She was chained up in the basement or something. Oh, nowadays, hell nah. some, no, no, it's different. It's all levels. Day? It's levels, you know. I told you about the yeah, BDSM all test. Day. It's things. It's also like all day. It's, it's stuff like that. But it's also like it's stuff that you could be into, and then stuff that's just not okay. Yeah, you're not you know in, what I'm saying? Like I you're said, though, nowadays all day. some of the <laughs> shit. Wait to get your food. But we don't know to the levels of it. Some, some nowadays, some of the things that they was talking about, like waiting to get your food, being chained up, being submissive, and doing whatever this man. Some people be into that type of shit. Even in the, the women. In the basement by yourself? Even the women. Even when they say they mm-hmm. was eating feces. I'm sorry about, uh-uh. And they was, he was peeing on them. Some people do that nasty I mean, some shit. people do do that, but also. They comfortable There are it. things, right. There's also things oh, called like safe words and shit you, like that. You cannot blame him for not saying, I ain't doing this shit. No, because that's what Ask sec- him how many times did they say, I ain't doing this shit versus saying, okay, daddy, I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Well, let me ask you this question. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little a little mind-boggling question, but what about if you get to a space where you are going to do something because you are have a certain level of fear towards that person? Well, this is the thing. What what was the fear? I mean, because uh, a lot he, of them ain't cha- really. If he chained bitches up, if I right. if I'm seeing this, this I'm, I'm all you, the whole. I watched all three parts. The whole, I, I haven't seen. They're them, not so. really saying. Oh, he beat me to a bloody pope. He beat my ass. Well, that's not they what assault really is, though. That. But you you do understand that assault. All they saying is wait, wait, sexual wait, hold on, stuff. Wait, wait, wait. But you do understand that assault, like sexual assault, can also be coercion, right? You can sex, so, you can rape you someone main, main, and coerce them to them. Yeah, do yeah, something yeah. that they don't want to do and they're actually not comfortable doing. That's technically still sexual assault. That is sexual assault. But yeah. I get to a certain you know point. It's like. If you're of age and you're an adult, you gotta learn how to voice saying no. no. I don't. I don't necessarily. Agree. I can't always. I, say I, I know that. women who have been assaulted in their adulthood. Yeah, you can't. I, you it's, can't it's always really, say like you gotta mm-hmm. know when to say because they could have been they could have been swooned in like oh I'm gonna put you up in this house and yeah, it was I'm a certain sure situation. Oh, like pimps do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, up front. Like it, pimps yeah, do. Yeah, and then it turned into some crazy shit where it's like mm-hmm. no, you're not going nowhere. If you're not. I'm taking all this away. Yeah, and then they he left made on some the promises. Because like, didn't you like isolate some of them from their yeah. families or something like that first? Oh, Man, they know. said this nigga used to have five women in the house at one in time. In different rooms. And they would never know they, they would meet each other. Each other. They, they would be like, they, she'd be like, well, I was in the house around this years," And she said, well, me too, but we never saw each other. Yeah, and they would have security guards at their doors. And they had yeah. times where they could come out and stuff. So to me, that's not just, oh, I Like his leave. wife said she. He said that. He said the, he could, they, would, they could leave whenever they wanted to. But she that don't like, sound like it to me. But he was saying they could leave whenever they wanted to, but it wasn't no coming back. Like once you leave, it's over with. Yeah, that's what he mm-hmm. was meaning. Like, but his wife like was master like master manipulation. It was yeah, plenty of women that he was messing around with. That's on his documentary around the same year. And, and she, she ain't was like, say shit. She like, ain't she know about none of them. Who the wife? Um, the Drea, Drea Kelly. Yeah, yeah she said that's that, the wife, right? She said she would see a lot of these what? young girls. Yeah, cause he got like two or three kids with her. Okay. And he said, she said she would see some of them, but she didn't know exactly what was going on. Like she said, she never witnessed anything because yeah. he kept it from go in that room, lock that door, you don't come out unless I or be with the type kids shit. type yeah. shit. Yeah. So she was like, I mean, I that's like you got that. people who are like murderers and they be out serial killing and they go home to their wives and some husbands and nobody she, even knows. Like yeah. some people say she definitely had to have seen. She had to have known something. Like, why is it I do not have like she didn't have like blame a, for it. yeah. Or she didn't want to. You know, people be have denial. Like people really be in denial. Like they know because you they partners that. on some I mean, shit. He's a huge artist. Yeah. So when you see these young girls around or you see people around, you're not gonna always think like, oh, she he got this girl chained up somewhere. Like yeah, um, you know, like yeah. he could. Yeah. I mean, he's art. Can he ain't no little bitty artist? Yeah, yeah. there's tons artist. of people that he probably in is my life in my world. It's like Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. R. Kelly, and everybody else trickle mm-hmm. down. Yeah, like, yeah you know musical genius. It's R. Kelly. Really like yeah, it's yeah. R. Kelly. So like. <laughs> 
it was probably plenty of people, boys and all. I mean, not. They boys, said it was boys on yeah. the on the on the court docs. They said yeah. it was two when they went to court. Yeah. They said it was two boys that they like kept their identity like anonymous. Anonymous, but there was it was two boys that was like saying that he was a part of their whole little yeah, situation. And everybody probably mm. wanted to be Aaliyah. Like so, it's like she probably seen tons of girls coming and going trying to saying they want to be sing. singers. Yeah, and, so but I these, could see how she kind of was like, I don't know what's what. Yeah, but I know something is something's odd. going on. Yeah. But the young girl shit, I just don't condone. Like I feel like he was. I don't know if he just got to a certain mindset. Know. Like I don't know his mindset, but he, I, I just think me they personally. Did I ever see that video them. of him when he was like in Africa and he was like singing and he was like, "Who's coming home with us?" It was like I did see the that. young girls. It well, was kind of crazy. The what Vine what we first started off with was um, the song. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we couldn't play the song, but Vine. I don't think we got. It's to. called she's, she's. She's a. It was called she's, she's a vibe she's or a vibe, vibe or yeah. something she like got, that. Got a vibe or something. But yeah. to me, it's like I don't. I've never. I don't care how. Who it is, young girl? I don't give a fuck if you don't know. I don't look at young girls like that. I have well in the sisters. song yeah, no. in the song mm -hmm. for y'all who haven't heard the song because I ain't weird. heard this song before this now. Um, R. Kelly points out like little little cute Aaliyah's a vibe or little cute Aaliyah's got it. Yeah. Cause you mentioned a whole bunch of women names. Yeah, like Stephanie, Stacy, Ashley, He's a grown da, da, da. and Lil Cute. Aaliyah. And then he said then little, little cute by Aaliyah. himself. He says little cute Aaliyah's a vibe. <laughs> That's weird as shit. Like, I feel like he been already was on some, like, if he wasn't fucking her already, he was trying to figure out how to do it. Yeah, but that's two really years 13. later, yeah. he married her. I, I mean, because, you know, a lot of them, a lot of parents give up parental rights. Because no, his parents, their parents didn't do that. Oh. The uncle went and did it. So on the documentary, it shows that the uncle. Because doesn't the uncle own a discography or something well, like no, that, Well, no, the too? uncle Black was, like, record. the manager for R. Kelly, and then, R. Kelly, and then the manager um, brought Aaliyah to R. Kelly and then he was trying to help them, help her yeah, come get up. away and yeah. shit. So yeah, she was she already had, started doing all his music and stuff too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Black work, yeah. So her whole, like, I think it was the first album, like her whole first album was by. Age ain't nothing but a number. Yeah. Look at the next so, title of it. Even, I mean, I'm sorry on some real predatory shit. If you look at the cover art for it, it's her right there. And, and then it's him like lurking in the, in the background. background. Yeah. With some real predator shit. Like, <laughs> he like. The fuck? <laughs> but how do you, the thing about it is, not funny. People got to understand right. artists are like artists like painting, but they put it into the music. So it's like, it's they if they singing about form, that shit, they doing especially it in R&B. These rap niggas make so, cap. Sometimes, yes and no. no sometimes man. we do make music that is very actual. Back in the day, specific. though, back in the, his time, this nigga was lit. Whatever talking he was about talking about, he was living that shit. <laughs> yeah. He wow. He it wild wasn't the cap about back then. He ain't he have no boy. internet. But we talked about also what was really crazy is that he was originally assaulted yeah. and how a lot of these predators um, repeat behavior that was happening to them. But I really, I'm not excusing reason, what he did. I don't did, feel like that. It's a mental. He has a mental health. Yeah, I don't uh, feel like him, him, his sister, whoever he was saying, making him do stuff. I don't feel like that results into yes, you. It does. Yes, it does. Yes, it oh, does. yes, it does. If something is done to you, like that's for example, like if a You're young trying boy to get the power back that mm -hmm. you lost, is that and also like things that you see, you, you repeat hate behavior. That's just like a, a little kid that is got parents who racist. What they gonna start doing, saying racist yeah, shit? I or for that. example, you know what I'm saying? Like and he was, he was gonna just brought do into it. sexuality too soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and then when he, it even, took him like a, his little boyness, yeah. like he didn't mm -hmm. really get that. And Superhead said get that there. too. Like Superhead said she got raped or assaulted at a certain age and so she said she hypersexualized. Into, yeah she got yeah. into like not doing sex work with having sex with all these bappers and stuff because she wanted her power back she said a lot of sex worker type women they have something from their past that they're trying to gain back that they lost that somebody actually just snatched from them yeah. they say that about abusive men too of yeah, abusive so people like they, they, they see stuff they'll never they get it back if you yeah. keep fucking and sucking and running around thinking you finna find something that you lost you ain't even find but that shit. It's not yeah. that you're finding anything, but you feel more powerful that now you've got the control. Like I can go it's have Birdman, thing. I can go have Lil Wayne, I can go have Game, and that's what she said she was, I guess, doing. Well, whoever she was messing with, I know she was messing with Wayne. But is that the same one who wrote the book? Yeah. Okay. So like mm -hmm. she said, that's how she got her power back, and she she felt power. Not that she was gonna get, like actually get something back, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it just her the man made her feel. And she said, so until you actually get these background stories of these women. Like, just like R. Kelly, you really wouldn't know, like, mm -hmm. why this man, he just, but he actually got mental health, like, in childhood, like, trauma. Yeah, yeah that's and traumatic I, as hell. I think they're just throwing him in jail. Like, the man can't barely he need even help. write. 
He needs and man help. Need help. Like, yeah. he can't need to go re- to like a uh, rehabilitation re- re- center. He can write. He can't yeah. read. I don't feel like he yeah, deserves to spend because they gave him what fifty years. I don't know. He got multiple different cases. I don't feel like he deserves to spend the rest of his life in jail. I feel like because even the people that he, the victims, they was on there like, we don't want him to go to jail. We want him to get help. He needs help, and that is a, a big problem with the prison system. It's not a lot of rehabilitation him. actually really for people. They really did. Even All the of two, these women loved him. The like at the very mm-hmm. end, even though he was them. a he victimized him, he did what he did. They, they loved there. him, so they like we don't want him to spend the rest of his life in jail. We want this man to get help. But it's just the way they went about it. It's I'm like, like how, how else you thought this was going to go exactly. down for a black like, man? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. right. I don't understand go, how you didn't think this man would be in jail. He right. didn't you didn't send. You didn't take none of his money. You should have stole some of his money and demanded that he go to a. a but center. see, I don't think he <laughs> sitting in jail. This nigga still ain't think he That's did shit I'm wrong. That's why I'm saying he don't. Yeah. That's why you should have stole some of his money, got one of his credit cards, and put him in rehab. Yeah. Because <laughs> him sitting in jail, he like. He don't think do he this. did shit wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, he thought... Yeah. Well, I think... Didn't he already say, like... Because they, they had, like, another video where he was like, it's too late. Like, pretty much, like, the cake is baked. Exactly. Like, I done already did it. And it didn't already happen. If y'all wanted to stop it, y'all should have stopped it a long later, time ago. And then a year later, his ass was locked the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. But it's yeah. just crazy how, of course, like, karma come back to you, but how that happened to him as a child and then in his adult life reflective, he ended up doing it to other people. Yeah. But he got a, he scary. has an appeal coming up on his situations because this it was a lot of tweaking with the courts and people was doing shit that they weren't supposed to do. So hopefully he'll get yep, an appeal. It was weird. Oh, niggas they, getting they, free they, over technicalities. They start talking about that all the court stuff that's been going on, yeah, like as of recently. Yeah, and, that was going on. Yeah. But y'all brought up with Marcus Houston, and I didn't understand why y'all had brought this up because Marcus Houston was messing with this girl. I think that was Chris Stokes related to Chris Stokes. I don't even really know. I think that's but his daughter. He been messing with that girl for a really long time. And I have seen back in the media that this has popped up again about some, not surviving Marcus Houston or I'll kidnap her. I don't know. Because then they say he she been messing was missing with that girl or something time. at first. She was, so, so what they're saying is she was missing for a long period of time and then she just ended up popping Pop back up. up married with kids. But it's like if she's twenty three and they got a six seven year old, that would mean that she was but pregnant. But we knew that then, though. I don't think the daughter that old. I don't think the daughter's that old. She's not. She's, 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 she's not like four. She's not she's, like three. Um, she's uh, we people knew that back then, and he was okay with. It. He was like, no, she's about. She's turned eighteen. She was hella young. Back but it's then. like, how old was she when you started fucking with her? Because I know that the first time y'all he had says, sex, he says he met her at seventeen. But I don't think it matters because nobody is sitting up here. Bit of, like no one has like raped Tiger over the coals for that Kylie stuff or Chris yeah, Jenner. He, he definitely was doing that. And Black China and everybody made it known. Well, I don't know. Black China was kind of like I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Because, you know, that's incriminating, too. But mm. ain't nobody said nothing. That girl was what? a minor, too. I just don't get it. What y'all see in these young girls? Like, I'm like that shit is weird, bro. <laughs> like, I just look at them like Mama a child, bro. Like, this is a child, bro. Like, you can't do shit for me, shawty. Like, and it's been times I done <laughs> right, been like, if I can't even go to the bar with you, what we exactly. doing? Exactly. It's been times I where even... I was in my middle 20s and I done had younger chicks, like, 16, 17, be like, oh, I'll talk. Because they, you know, young chicks, they be wanting an older nigga. Because they be like some type of infatuation about getting with an older nigga that's in his 20s. But I'm like, hell no. That's nah. a lot to do with a lot of women that don't have dad figures and stuff. It's like, hell no. Nah, I would never. That shit is not even attractive to me. So it's just weird. Like, how? why would y'all even want to do that? She hasn't even developed herself mentally, physically. She's still a child. Like, But facts. a lot of them want to ripen them up. Like, a lot of women, I mean, a lot of men look at older women or women closer to their age, like, knowing too much knowledge or, like, you know, already molded into the woman they're going to be. But when you take somebody right off, off you know, their mom's hands... It's a lot easier to mold them and to manipulate them and have these modern women and these submissive women that a lot of men feel like they really want. But that's a short-term mindset because in the long term... <laughs> I mean, yeah. In the long term, <laughs> it's Marcus Houston wife, me, 10 years from now, she's going to be like, damn, all my friends that had these fun experiences, I ain't done nothing but be with this one man. She's going to always have that what if. It's like this. If a woman has sex with one man her whole life, it's always going to be like... She doesn't know. She can't compare nothing to nothing. She going to think his sex is okay and it's good, but it may be better out there in her mind because she has nothing to compare to. Or she might think that's the best sex is ever going to be. But that doesn't really matter. That's going to be on her. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> it's like a lot of other things that come with that too, like experiences and not really knowing yourself and you're really locking yourself down when one person is older that really knows himself and then you're sitting there kind of questioning. Kind of so yeah, again, you are. they've really molded you into they, who they wanted yeah. you to be. And that's <laughs> weird. That's also insecurity on his end because if you feel like the only way you would marry a woman is by you got total mind but there's total there's a lot of uh what is that called M- she, molding not molding she not um, being with no other man grooming, like grooming i think that a lot of not i think women do it too but a lot of older men mm-hmm. go for younger girls because they feel like they can groom them nah, i just feel like that's insecure like be. you got a big insecurity with so i think it's a control thing. i think it's insecurity yeah. it it's also control. Control. It's control. Like, control why would you because his basic explanation was just like i only want to I wanted somebody that was pure, like, for one, nigga, you been out here on these tours fucking crazy. And you telling me she can't have a couple partners? Yeah. Like. Ah, uh, yeah. That's how they want to know. It's a lot of double standards in it. I mean, I, I dated experience. somebody that was 20 years older than me before. I don't so. want nobody that just fresh out the gate I think that's like different that. if you're, I think it's, it depends on how old you are. I was 19. And, oh, shit. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I was a freshman at school. Oh, so. When you dated somebody? That was 20 years older than me, yeah. yeah. They were in their late 30s, so. Um, I mean, we're still cool now. We're still friends now, but I definitely feel like I've caught up and kind of start past that person because mm-hmm. it does take a certain type of man to date a younger woman like that. Not to say like I was like the I was pretty mature for my age, but it was certain stuff that I hadn't experienced, couldn't talk to. But I was mature than the average girl my age, not a twenty year old or a thirty year old like him. But now it's kind of like whoever that was. Then at 37, you don't really mature a lot between that age and who he yeah. is now versus me. Mm-hmm. I'm a totally different woman than I was then to versus now. Ago. So right. it's like I've kind of caught up and now he's looking kind of like he's met his peak way b- when I was dating him. Yeah. So it's like it's kind of weird because you kind of like dumbed yourself down because maybe you knew that was kind of where your peak where was. You at, so yeah. you couldn't really match women at your own age. So you had to get younger. When the long run come, you gonna surpass him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I have out surpassed him now. So I feel like, damn, that was kind of lame for you back then to be dating girls that's like you felt like was beneath you. But you know, the catch up is too quick because you you really couldn't compete with women. Yeah, I can see the the same way. Yeah, I can see the fucking around. You know, little little young and whatever. Not like underage, but you know what I'm saying. Like younger, cool, but like actually having a relationship is totally different. I feel like I feel like the time span is like. A five year different, five, six years, seven year difference. I think it depends because I'm 30 now. I would date somebody 40. I wouldn't. But I'm saying if you're 30 and you, the, the lowest you should go at 30 is 22. That's fair. Fucking around. She's had a year Date, to be dating. Legal. I think messing around, yeah, but I think like dating seriously. At thirty, I don't think you should do no more than I like went five years. Twenty two year old. At yeah, not no more yeah. than five. Maybe 25, 26. But I feel like yeah. twenty two is cool. Yeah, though. that's that's like, if you're thirty. But if you're like I think that's twenty two and your nigga like forty eight, <laughs> fifty, like. But I don't know a twenty two year old and a thirty year old. I think that is a good difference to me. Like that is almost a decade too. So yeah, I don't know. Like, like this who I was at twenty two. I mean, name. I was dating people that age when I was twenty two. But I always have dated older, uh, older men, yeah. and now I've tried to like pull back. Even though I still date men that are older, they're not. What did you 40. get out of that? What did you I get out of dating older, older men? Too. Like, I, I got know. a lot out of it because guys my age are actually mature a lot slower. So guys my age are like anybody that's twenty. To be taken seriously, not just be taken. Uh, advantage it's not of. just taken seriously. It's just like somebody I could connect to and have real. I guess yeah, I guess it is taken seriously. Yeah, but yeah. Like having a real conversation and not just like giggle surface and level talking about like the new hottest music and all that kind of like foolishness, you know. So you can't have those conversations some with sometimes guys your age because unfortunately, like yeah, we kind of still young now, so it's kind of hard. Like y'all just growing up now, just growing up. So it's like. Y'all, st- if you 30, your mindset for a man still might be 25, 26, you know, in that age, yeah. you know. So it's still hard to date a guy your age even mm-hmm. now. So I think it was, I guess it was that, yeah, I had to go with that because I just, I can't take um guy serious my age. Like, you talking about bubble gums and lollipops. Like, yeah. I-, I feel like I'm taking care of somebody's son, mm-hmm. honestly. That's a fact. Because yeah. a guy, one of my exes asked me yesterday, what, what, I don't see no value in women nowadays. They ain't really doing nothing. They out here in the clubs and the majority of women in Atlanta. Damn, we can't go have fun? 
No, that's it's all said. about what you would pay attention to. The he guys said. that say that shit, hey, it's party all about what you, what you pay attention to. It's all about what you surround yourself that's with. What I said. It's that's all exactly about that what type I said. of situation. I said yeah. that. It's still some good that. women out here. I yeah, absolutely. That. I said, it's still some it's amazing women. It's also some women. It's also some successful women. Out here. Right. I, I exactly. Agree. That's what I'm saying. He said exactly. the majority of girls in Atlanta are either strippers. Um, waitresses. No, that's not true at all. That's a small percentage. I said that's, that's not I, true at all. It's only I about wish he three to four strip y'all. clubs in Atlanta. I tried to tell him that. <laughs> that's I a said, small percentage. Y'all, I swear my head to God, this man, I wish he was sitting here because I'm like, it is your surroundings. If yeah. you think that. Yeah, it is definitely about how you look. If you, you think know, that that's so all crazy. the women in Atlanta, Bruh. you just ain't around no good I'm gonna tell you women. Like we this. talked about this before though because I was talking a, about the, the work That's atmosphere. a subculture. That's a nice subculture. It's a small percentage of strip clubs. It's a small percentage of clubs, period, in Atlanta. It's not like that. So, it's more gas stations. You'll find more yeah. successful and nice women that got cars that but pump I was, gas at you know, the gas station. It also is this Atlanta is, in my opinion, I have my likes and dislikes about Atlanta, but I think that one thing that Atlanta has for sure is whatever life you want to live, you can live that. You can live, you can live you that can in Atlanta. You got to put that work in. Yeah, whoever you want to be around. You can around, submerge you gotta, yourself exactly. so deep that that's all you know. Exactly. So that's all he knows. And I met him in the and club And the same industry. people frequent the same places. So yeah. you got to go outside of your normal stuff. I told him that too. I'm like, somewhere that you would be comfortable, I couldn't bring my sorority or my girls from college or something because right. they not they don't know that world they know black excellence and you know Morehouse and Spelman and these professional and they don't atmosphere yeah, it's also they about, know, about that's real though because you know, like, I had my release unfit, party vice versa you gonna feel uncomfortable yes. in a situation yes. Yes. so it's like you gotta somewhere I'm pointing like you right here but <laughs> I was trying to tell him that I'm so glad because I'm like am I tripping because mm-hmm. I know I can bounce between both worlds very well and I try to I try to stay real I keep try to keep one ear to the street but I also have to be in my books and about my business. So I'm like, dog, you need to express, you know, your, you know, just not express, but expound your horizons. I was going to pour you a lot since more. You me. That's what I my nigga. Thank you. I don't know if, it, even know if it's anything in there. Have, I'm listening. They Go pouring ahead. up today. But yeah, I was just trying to say, I, I think when men and women say it ain't no good men out here or it's no good women out here, it's I good. think that. It, it's some good men out here. It's women. some good women out here. It's yeah. all about what you surround yourself with. Yeah. If you stay going to the strip clubs, if you stay going to these environments, that's the type of women you're going to attract. Yeah. If you go and find mm-hmm. yourself in environments with women, be at, they go real to it's the also women. it's also perception is reality. I said events. You said that's a lot of real events. Right, that yeah. too. And it's also perception <laughs> is reality because y'all was pointing it out to me in our, one of our but our first episode, and I was like, ain't shit out here. Da, 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 it's you know, out here. but it's, it's out, out here. here. You was yeah. just looking for love and now you found it. I don't know what you're talking about. You got what you needed. Yeah, shout out to all my supporters that came out yeah. to my release party last night. That's the love that <laughs> but I But honestly, got. it's it's not Atlanta is the world, is the city of you can be whoever you want to be. I tell anybody, if you want to do something, structure it how you want to do it. Do it. Be active with doing it. Not just talking about it. It's also the power of your mind. Yes. And be consistent for one year. Then that one year, you may have not made no money, but people may know you for doing that. Mm -hmm. So now you got the people paying attention and knowing what you're doing. You just got to just keep being consistent. It's also about the power of your mind. Like, if you sit up here and be like, well, I'm never going to find nobody. I be trying to tell women that too. Oh, I, oh, everything out here is lame as hell. Yep. I can't do this. And it be with them no reality too. Like, are you, I always ask the women that say that, are you dangling right? You ain't got to be out here with Von said with certain stuff on that he don't approve of. Yeah. You ain't got to be like that. You really don't. But I, you do have to show that you are A level available. of mystery. But that, a level is, that, of available. is that like a bad thing that, I don't know, maybe I just, I done been through so much to when I see certain women doing and dressing certain way. Some niggas would be like, that, ooh, ah, I think for that, me, it'd be yeah, like, ugh. Yeah. I'd be ready to throw up. I, too, it just de- like, I think it depends, because, like, you should dress to your body type. You know what I'm saying? So it like, ain't even that. It's, it's just, just like, they may have, have a banging the body, body for it. And it, you it's still don't have it. It's just I be wanting <laughs> to throw up. Like, like it just don't be like, you don't it don't be that. that. It's not necessary. I respect classy. That's what's attractive is classy and respecting yourself and looking nice. But you might like that. I like. I mean, I like introverted little house joints, right? Yeah, you want that. Yeah. I like I like girls that be in. I, I like girls that don't nobody even know the she exists. And the sweatpants and yeah, yeah, you know, like and go to work and get her bread right. bag. Yeah. That's what I like, right? But some niggas like girls who got ass titties out. But are revealing. they gonna take them women serious? Is it? A I think I think it? it's certain types of men who do, even certain types of studs and like. <laughs> Even in my community, I see certain types of couples, and I'm like, "Yep, y'all definitely yeah, make sense together." Y'all. Yeah, y'all make sense together. What do y'all together. think about these? Um, some of these like. PR type relationships where you know they don't look right together, but kind of how Meg and uh, Moneybag was. They I think did. they was kind of they better than Ari. 
I thought Meg and Money Back Yo was better was, than I the Ari situation. I think that was a good matchup. I think match up, yeah, that, match up, I'm saying, but everybody was saying they were together on some PR. No, no, no. I actually, I met Ari and Money Back Yo. I they look good like, together. Oh, I, better. I ain't talking about look good together because that's questionable. Because I say look good meaning like they. I think they match other. each other. That's I, I felt mean, Meg was better. I think I didn't feel like it was a PR relationship. I've, I feel also, like that shout was out to Meg. Match. She looks amazing. She made her way back into the internet. She looks great. Shout out to Meg. She not shout out to Tory, man. He got his appeal coming up, man. Tory, what is wrong with you? Fuck Tory Lanez. There's I cannot believe you right her. now. <laughs> you right. You right. He so if we her. at a party and I get to shoot another ground and the bullets hit your feet, you going to say I shot your ass? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm That's not. different because you've been shot. He so. didn't shoot her. So what's dance be dance, man? I don't think he said right. that. I don't think he said that. Because okay. that's like, that's, that is the weirdest thing to say. Like he didn't they were say drunk. That shit. They, they were drunk, drunk as shit. They were drunk. And if he, Even if you look at this, the live from that he, night, they was drunk. If he did say it, that's like some what? That's like some pimp he, shit. Dance, nah. bitch. Like, <laughs> nah. you know what I'm saying? I think he was also trying <laughs> like, to be funny. I, think, I don't see him saying no shit like that. I don't know. I think he was probably just trying to be funny, and that shit did not. And go then they the was drunk. Playing. He didn't really consciously mind he it. Still he still did it. He still yeah, did. That doesn't matter. That doesn't he matter. Ain't like. He was like, no, he, you said know what that that? Bitch. he ain't shoot that girl. Man. That's still if you shoot what at a I person, feel like, feet, and you what, shot the, her. what the witness said that was looking out the balcony that the best friend had the gun, he saw the flame coming from the best friend. You think Kelsey shot her? Hell yes, Even Kelsey a, shot her. Why? It was both fucking Tory. Kelsey was already the jealous friend, and you go back and fuck a nigga that your best friend was already fucking. Like, so wait, what about that video? What about that audio recorded of him apologizing for shooting? I her? feel like that's a nigga <laughs> that was drunk. And they told him he did something, but he really didn't understand what he did because You're gonna he was come drunk. up because he doesn't believe that he's actually gonna come up with any story. No, I'm just telling you my I, mind, I, I, I see, really I'm getting it right you know, now. It's really, like no, I tell you about other stuff, it's really no, no reason. This is it just my is real what point it is. of view. I feel like, like yeah, you I know, said, that's what I'm saying. It is your real he point was of drunk. View. Yeah. When he got to jail, he sobered up a little bit. He figured out. They said I shot her. Damn, I know she ain't gonna never forgive me, but he not really understanding what's going on. No, but when a nigga turn Vaughn, back I, around, hold on, hold on, really hold on. Analyze the situation. He like, man, I ain't shoot Vaughn, that girl, man. Vaughn, no, Vaughn, let's be fucking for real, real quick, okay? Yeah. No, crazy. I'm not a ghost. Real, no, because you Nick, are. You actually, yeah, you, you are, are being for real, and I'm kind of upset about it a little bit. I'm not upset with you, you but just upset yeah. that like you don't understand that like. First the of all, the evidence is there. The evidence is there. Also, no, it's not let's be there. clear. They no, said the girl listen. Was let's be clear. The evidence is not that, there. He Why got. Not? He was convicted. Let's let's think about this. Well, I don't he was convicted. Number one and number there. two. That jury saw a countless amount of evidence that we never saw. Right. They so. saw countless evidence that we no, never saw. It was no gunpowder on his hands, but it was on Kelsey's hands. What How does that happen? Gun, I shoot guns. Gunpowder gun can transfer never, easily. Yeah, it's not going. It, it doesn't have to be on your hand. You can. All, we can also be inside of a car and a gun go off, and the gunpowder is going to be all through the car but and on our clothes. It on him. It was on Kelsey's. Hey, it was tons of evidence. They I'm said not, when they ran the test, thing. he didn't have it on him. That doesn't mean that he didn't <laughs> shoot the gun. <laughs> when you shoot a gun, the bullet is going to be on your hands. It's impossible not for it to be on your I hands. I don't know. I wasn't on the defense team, nor did I look at all the evidence, so I don't know. The man was convicted, and so that's He's got just, an appeal coming up. This man going to get out mean, of jail. That doesn't mean that he's going to... That doesn't... The I just don't what? see why. I don't see why. I just don't see a it, lot of people are. In I also, just don't see pills. why Meg and but him at the top of both of their careers, she would make up some shit like that. I ain't saying she making it up. She just really don't know what happened. But, but also, she, it's like if Kelsey really did do it, it wouldn't matter. Know. It wouldn't matter. No, Kelsey no. didn't have nothing to lose like Tori did. So why why put it on the person that had like more to Meg, lose? She she believes Tori did it. Because in the moment, probably Kelsey said he did it. But like you said, Meg. There said, was a video afterwards when she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Are you OK? No, she literally said that to Meg. To what I'm saying, though. When the police is there. Her back was turned. Her back was turned. She don't know who shot her. OK. Did you see the video of when the police were there <laughs> and Kelsey went up to Meg and said, oh, my gosh, I can't believe that happened to you. Are you OK? Are you okay? Of course. Somebody who shoots you not gonna be like, of course I can't I'm believe be it like happened that. to you. I'm gonna be like, nigga, you scrape? I ain't do that shit when we really don't know right. who did it. Of okay. course I'm gonna say that. Yeah. The nigga that shot me telling me somebody else did it. It's a whole lot of stuff that, you know, will be like, revisionist. Yeah. It's, it's a revisionist. I feel uh, like it was just tale. a social media type yeah. of case. Just what like is it with y'all and black men not being able to accept that black men be doing fucked up no, shit? No, we be doing fucked up shit. I'm not saying well, that at all. I think it has to do with the <laughs> fact that... I'm just saying social media kind of controlled it. For one... If you on a jury and they say, oh, you can't watch no news and all, them folks already knew about that case when they got on the jury trial. 
when they the jurors are, they were selected, they already knew about the case. So the social media already had it. People you can't be, you can't be on a jury like if you know R. about Kelly it. Shit, they minds was already shifted before they even got selected. To you be can't a jury be on a, a you can't be on a jury if you know about the, the That's stuff. That's a cap. So they, how thing, can they not know it if they so were on social thing, media? One thing about one thing that Everybody has been shown doesn't. in America is that, don't that make no sense. black women are expected to take their traumas and pain and yes. bury them and keep it fucking moving. Yes. And that's why our infant mortality rate is so high. Yes. Because we are expected, even in healthcare, to be like, okay. You, you can take in, the pain. Yeah. You can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and okay. Yeah, nothing's It's wrong. not that bad. Go home, mm-hmm. you know? So that mentality follows through in a lot of things. So that's why a lot of people like Vine are like, you know, God with damn. this kind of <laughs> with this kind of mindset of where if a black woman's trauma it, it, it's not something. it's not validated. It, no, it, I'm not it saying her trauma be, isn't validated. But why, why, you, but why, you are though. I'm not saying he ain't you are. But why you are. why why are that's, you discounting her She definitely got shot, but he did not do it. But why are you discounting her experience? If she said he shot me, why are you gonna sit up here and be like, no, this is wrong. You're so sure she's like lying. you were there. I'm not saying she a liar. Just my belief. You are saying she she's lying if you're saying that she. About you are what saying okay. It's yeah. a she's misunderstanding. Confused. It's just a big misunderstanding. Yeah. So that's, that's a it. part of that's a part of the the minimalizing. It's just a misunderstanding. Mis- 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 misunderstanding. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if a nigga shoot me, Vaughn, and I'm like, yo, this nigga shot me, you gonna be like, I don't know, KB. It's gonna you sure your back was turned. Let's say it like this. Let's say it like this. If your back turned, me and her walking behind you. And a gun go off and the gr- gun on the ground and you turn around, who you gonna think shot you? I'm not that's not the same. You gonna situation. probably say me, cause you're gonna be like, I knew Celine my whole life. She wouldn't do me like is that. Is it your fucking gun? No. I'm just saying Whose gun is it? Even if it that's was That's who's gun. that's who I'm gonna think shot okay, me. Okay then. And you gonna <laughs> even Take the who gun part it is about it. Just oh, say, now we got to Just say it. it's a gun. I can't have this conversation. Just Niggas say it's a gun. Semantic if your back turn <laughs> and you get shot in your foot. And me and her standing behind you, you turn around. Who the first person you gonna think? It's shot the you? minimalization of it's black gonna be me, me because you know was, her longer. And you think same, she ain't gonna do no, no shit like that. This was the same thread. No, that so was the first in the thing R you gonna Kelly think thing. is what? If a nigga tell me to dance, bitch, dance, I'm I gonna think, I'm gonna think that, that nigga shit. shot me. You I don't, don't think, think he said, he said it. it. So wait, wait, wait. So wait, wait. Hold on. You're saying you're not discounting or invalidating her statements, but you're saying he didn't say it. You're saying that she <laughs> said. Saying, no, wait, wait. No, let me finish. Dance, no, no, bitch, let me let me finish. Shit, no, like, let me finish. Wait, let me finish. You're saying got to do with anything. But, no, I'm a fi- let me finish though. You're saying that she said that he shot her. That she's confused about that. She's you're saying confused. that she said that. She said, oh, he said, dance, bitch, dance, and now you're saying, he didn't but say that. But the R. Kelly survivors were confused, too. It's like, you literally are invalidating this woman's experience. The R. Kelly survivors were confused, too, and the R. Kelly survivors also were the ones with that you were saying, like, they had a choice or something yeah. like that. Yeah, some of them did have a choice. But you don't right. always have a choice when it comes to assault. You understand <laughs> that, right? So, when it comes to abuse... Uh, it, 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 is know, it abuse or is it sexual assault? Y'all kind of that's the same, same, same thing. thing. It's the same thing. But I'm just saying though, where does the <laughs> fear? What I'm trying to get to understand is if this, if you ain't saying this man beating your ass to a bully pulpit, that is not the only way shit. abuse occurs, okay, mom. So what, that's sexual when is assault. the point there where you're saying I'm not comfortable with this, my nigga? Everybody's not comfortable with saying they're not comfortable. That's where the that's where that slippery that's slope where comes the mind, in. That's, where and the that's what I'm saying. When you're dealing, from. this is what I'm trying that to tell y'all. When you're dealing with somebody that's you can't tell me nothing about like our. Kelly, <laughs> if you don't tell you him it's not okay, nothing. how can he not know it's not okay? Because he's know. used to getting away with it. Exactly. So that doesn't make what it okay. Mean, exactly. I'm not saying it makes it okay. So that means that he still in turn was assaulting and abusing these uh, women. I'm not, I'm not denying exactly. that, but I'm saying it, he's just it's minimizing, a little uh, he's just minimizing the women's yeah. experience. It's a little just, accountability on their part. Oh, wait, oh, hold on, guys. So today's episode is going to be called Vaughn Minimizes Women's Trauma. Black okay. women, the minimalization saying, of black women. It's a little trauma. accountability that they have to take to be like, yep. we never said yeah, they have to. They, they just, they, you have you to. You know, it just doesn't you happen have to like make that, them right? Just a little bit accountable, right? You have to, right? You, you just have but to. You do you understand don't get that, that though? No. no. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. Of bro. course, we get that. So like, you do, we have a, to be taken. If a nigga doing up. something to you and you never we, say, you got to be a little I'm bit uncomfortable. Wait, so hold on. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna give you. you an, I'm gonna give you an alarm. How is he gonna know I'm you're a, uncomfortable when he's right. doing something? I'm gonna wrong. give you. I'm gonna right. give you an alarming. <laughs> I'm a alarming fact. More women are sexually assaulted through coercion, or and also are raped, and they don't even know they have been raped until after the situation happens. Charlemagne said the mother. You understand that, right? He raped that girl. I agree. But I'm saying you do understand (laughs) that, right? So in that moment, the girl may not have known that she was being assaulted. But so you say him coercing them is a way for them to not know they being sexually assaulted. Yes. And they don't know not to say no because they don't really know what's going on because he has coerced them into the situation. Yes. That's exactly what I'm saying. You do know that women are sexually assaulted on so many different types of levels. It doesn't, like, forcible rape is not the only type of sexual assault that occurs. 
Women are assaulted in all kinds of ways. Women are assaulted by their close friends, their family members, people that they think that they can but trust, that's, that's the people that build a relationship. No, it's not. Younger it's younger not just younger women. Age, uh, this age. is grown women that this happens to, too. There are women who are married. <laughs> there are women who are married who have husbands that who are husbands getting rape sexually them. assaulted. Yes, them. this stuff happens. It's across the board. Yes. Just it's not you just married, young girls. It's consensual all the time. Exactly. Everything is not always consensual. Just because I have sex with you, and you five 40. times doesn't mean... If I say I don't want to have sex a six time or I'm not comfortable... Or and you're 40 years old and you and telling me I got to fuck you and I'm not... You're like, this is your duty as a wife. That's still sexual assault. See, back in the day, this shit would never fly. I'm going to just let y'all know. That, that make it right, though, right? No, I'm just saying, like, this new age, <laughs> it's just crazy how the world changes. It needs to change because right. that stuff is not day, okay. Right. We that need to shit go. would never fly. It would never. <laughs> it would never. Like, we got to go back to those days because no, that's when that shit that was like, all. the right. I'm not saying that at all. That's what that's that shit what I'm saying is, though, the mindset that is here now, this shit would never work. We need to go back to 1948 as well. No, I'm just nah, saying. The women don't have bank accounts. The nineties where R. Kelly was running free. But I'm just, I just feel like <laughs> in my mindset, it's like if a nigga don't know he's doing something wrong, how can he know it's wrong if you never tell him it's wrong? Right. That's fair. But at the same time, it does not mean that. That's we, my whole argument. It does not wait. But it does not mean that what he did was okay. He I'm knows. not saying it's it still was mean, okay. It can, he can still be wrong even I'm if he doesn't know what he's doing The fact that wrong. he kept the video... It's not always about your consciousness of your actions. It, 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 he actually had consciousness. That's why he ran around with all his videotapes in a bag. That was his, that was his like, conscious mind. He knew. I'm mean, fucking up. I'm okay. Sure. I gotta keep... Yeah, he always had that shit under lock and key. And he always had those girls separated. So he actually knew, knew something was doing. right. Because yeah. he would let them congregate. Hey, girl, you getting breakfast? Hey. You know, he, they would be free. Frolicking. Mm-hmm. If they if it really was yeah. like that, so he right. was conscious of. Because there are guys who have relationships like that where the women Absolutely. know each other. Absolutely, and the women are okay with it. Mm-hmm. Hey, boo, can you pass the sugar? Yeah. You're most of good. Let me know because I right. can make you some coffee in the morning. Want a back rub? Right. Okay, honey, you good too. Yeah. Like that exists. He knew in the he world. was doing <laughs> fucked up shit, but in in my mind, it's just like so you mind. cannot. He don't you know can't the blame levels. those women. He don't but know that's the in levels. your mind. That's he don't know the levels because if you never say, but you just said it's in your mind. I'm not okay with this shit. You're fucking me up. He's not. Who? Okay, hold on. Let's hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who's gonna say that? Hey, R. Kelly, you're raping me. Uh, no, I'm not saying you're like, sexually assaulting me. With the you I chaining mean, me up. Like, you if, chaining me up in the basement. I'm really not okay with say, it. If the nigga say, "Can I pee on you?" and you say, "Yeah," but then years later you like, "Well, he made me pee. He he peed on me and made me do these crazy." That's pretty but degrading. Yes. The fact the fact that That's you started off your though. statement by saying that this is in but your it, mind. How is it degrading when Carisha <laughs> says she like for Diddy to pee on her? So what is two different? That's two totally different type of things. It's somebody who actually like it. But the girl said, "Yes, you can do it." Just because she said yes doesn't mean you that she really wanted mind, to say so yes it's just you know how many sense. girls like i said go back this going we're going I back to court don't see the difference if she if, don't see the difference if she don't say no don't, and don't say nigga you're mind, doing something wrong then what is the difference mind, how does he know difference? he's doing something wrong if you don't tell him you don't like it right I mean, that y'all don't see that. It's in your mind. No, Vaughn, I can't see it. Vaughn, I'm sorry. They finna, rip, they my, finna rip your ass up nowadays, on this Nowadays, women like for golden showers like Carisha said. All women don't like that, though. Well, what I'm Carisha saying is, said it. So that means Carisha like it. did not tell our Kelly, JT might I not don't like, it. like this shit. How can he know <laughs> that he not supposed to be doing this one? So you know for a fact that you, if you're not told, I should not be ripping off your clothes and you keep telling me no and I keep going. I, I didn't say nothing about when no well, is no, no. No, because some men be like, is no, no, because nah, some, some niggas say no like, means try no, harder. Like no, yeah. I, that, some niggas be like, no means try harder. Don't try to play with me. We've been arguing the whole time <laughs> but that I'm these saying, girls did not say I don't like it. No, you don't know that because I'm they saying, been like, you said no he, means he, no, stop, but yeah, stop. no does mean no, but to some men or people, people in general, women too, no means try harder. It's a lot of fucked up people out here. But these women that he interviewed, they never said no. You don't know. It doesn't Said it on the part Sir, three. That's what I'm trying do to you tell understand you. Way. I don't know. I think you're just trolling us at this point. I, don't know. <laughs> I think you're trolling us. He's not going to no. ever troll me because that wasn't all the women that he did stuff with. That yeah. wasn't, he. they didn't do no roundup in last <laughs> yo. All of the women that he's been messing with since now, the they 90s. Do all of okay, then. So you talking about a handful, therefore, that's not really a generalizable population of what R. Kelly survivors really was. Yeah. They was the ones willing to get on TV and put their face and their voice on there. Yeah. So therefore, Which yeah, takes a lot of courage to do. So look at the editors, the producers, who's really behind this R. Kelly thing. You don't really know. So you might be talking about the ones oh, that shit, had lighter sentences. Because some of them do sound like that they kind of was like, uh, you kind of sound like you had some faults in it, sis. A lot of them did. Even that artists that 
put her. Um, I just don't understand how we could fall. She kind of felt. A I feel like she was kind of getting quiet at certain times because she kind of started noticing when she was talking. Like, damn, I really messed my niece up. Like, mm-hmm. I really felt some of that on there. But you don't know if every situation was like that. So, how y'all feel about the uh, the Azrael Clary situation where? You know, she went to R. Kelly when she was like 16, 17, but her parents were there. They would have wanted a major parents that was trying to get their kid back. Mm-hmm. But later she on in the court documents, her parent, her mom was coaching her to go meet R. Kelly when she first met him. She yes. was like, girl, you need to look young. He like young women. He may have wanted to have sex with you. But later on in the fact, you making it seem like he abducted your child. I think it would. I think that that's. Too yeah, too yeah, exactly. Yep. That's exactly what I say. Like, daughter to say. You thought it. it was going to be, oh, she got to look cute because he like young girls. You're going to get signed and he going to make you a famous. It went as far and as her end. mom coaching her to say you may have to have sex with him. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I, I didn't that's hear that. Wicked. But that's I would some never Chris do that. That's, that's that a great dinner shit for real. Like, the text messages was that deep. Like she was coaching her, telling her what to wear. Oh my she was like, you may have to grab his hand. You may have to grope him and. That's like, like these PR relationships in general, as mm. we were talking about. But like the girl was in high school. It doesn't matter. That that's in their head. It's just like in your head. And then stuff, that's in head. her mom, <laughs> her mom heads. told her to lie about her age. She told to tell him she was hey. eighteen and she well, was really hey, sixteen. I'm 17. just saying, you can't, you can't. That was in them parents' hey, head. They felt that was right because it was, it, you know, the good good segues to the fact that I had we had a guy. Who was sitting amongst us? We was over for Easter, a little adult Easter egg hunt, mm-hmm. and this boy was like nineteen or eighteen. And the mom got mad because one of my homegirls said, "Hey, don't bring your son. He's not grown like us. Like we're 30, 40 years old." Right. She said, "Well, I'm not abandoning my son to come hang with y'all." So she said, "So it became this big old thing." So eventually, she was like, Ugh, "You being an extra, just bring your son on." So this man sitting amongst us, people smoking, drinking, having adult mm-hmm. conversation. This man nineteen, mm-hmm. he's sitting there drinking too. And I felt like that was inappropriate for your mama to be sitting up there with your kid and you egging your child on in the drinking game. Here, you mm-hmm. can take the next car. We drinking and smoking with your son. So after the fact, when they left, people was arguing about the fact, like, that's their child. If you ain't got kids, you ain't got nothing to speak on. Parents will coach certain stuff, and then they felt like you shouldn't say nothing because it's my kid. Mm-hmm. But then around everybody else, we got this other perception of that's wrong in general. Right. And I'm in their mind, and I'm not trying to be funny, but that was in your head, but that was in they, her head too. Yeah. Like, that thought that woman actually thought that was appropriate to be sitting but there I, with her, her 19 year old son smoking and drinking. You don't just understand like that what goes on behind closed doors. Like, he probably already do that without her. So in my mindset, I'm the. T- I think I it's totally kids. different doing it around your parents and by no, yourself. Listen, you got to hear me out. I went to college, and of course I was hear drinking and smoking in I'm college. I'm a parent. I got two sons. Right. If they get of age, and I and I hear they're that they smoking age, and drinking. Well, if I hear they smoking and drinking at 16, 17, 18, in my mindset, they gonna do this shit anyway. Okay. I would rather you do it at home with me, and I know you're. It's not okay. at home. This is in front of a, but, a, a but public. But not setting. saying at home, but saying around, around me, so me. I can make sure no, you're, you're okay. Safe. And other versus adults are going. Be okay I with it. No, you ain't gotta be okay with it. Right, but at the end of the day, this is my fucking child. Right, I do so what I fucking your, want too. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Smoke and drink and get high and drunk with your kid at the house. But Don't I'm get just mad saying, other I would rather my kid do it with me. I know you can get home safe. And I know you're gonna do this shit anyway without me. But I'm I'm trying to protect you from all the yeah, trauma. Yeah, because I, 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 well, I, I okay. okay. All right, so it, yeah, it, yeah, I agree with you, but I also agree with you because I had one of my best friends growing up. His mom was like that. Like we was in go go bands and we was outside. Yeah. It was great. I'm from DC, you know. It, it get real, whatever. His mom used to be like, "Look, I don't even like that y'all do this, but y'all need to do this at this house. Y'all need to do that hey. here if y'all gonna do anything." So I understand what you're saying, but I definitely understand what you're saying. It's like, okay, cool, you do that with your kids. But I personally don't want to see that shit. Like I don't want to be and around. That's cool. I don't want to be smoking and drinking with no nineteen year old. And like, that's cool. The age gap is way too big for me to be wanting to be. So I definitely hear what both I of y'all saying. And I even said, and before, that's around like, that person's friends though. Yeah, you know, these not his friends. Right, right, exactly. And that he too, a grown man. Too. He can stay at home if he want to smoke and drink. Why do he have to come? Need with to come you? with us when we forty but years I, old. I didn't even yeah. say it before. Like <laughs> when my 40. kids get of age, I knew what time I started having sex. I feel like nowadays kids be young as hell when they have sex. They better. My kids better so not you, be having so sex. So you got to think of like that. Sex, I, was 18. I, I always said like, if my son in high school and he meet a chick that he trying to bang on. He gonna do it anyway. I'd rather be like son. You rather be with R. Kelly? Come to our house and you go to your room. With her versus you going over there and getting caught by her daddy, and then I gotta answer to that. Come to you. this studio, put you get on what I'm this saying? dress. Yeah, his ass for her get shot. I'd rather you come over here and come with R. Kelly. House, and you do Stop. your thing, 
And it's the same thing. It's that the same situation. Thing. I'd rather support my son on that versus let him fucking go well, out I there and get in some trouble. But so also, I think I make it two different points. Yours is just saying him fucking with some younger girl. Yours is saying it don't matter. Older, it's the fact that woman. he is okay with his his minor having sex and he want him to make sure he. But you can't stop okay him. You can't just it. stop him. Right. Though. You but can't I'm make not him okay. not do something. I'm not but I'm all I'm saying is you can't really judge those parents either because they're like fuck what y'all saying. This my kid. and I want my kid to make it. I think you're missing the perception of it because you don't have kids. See, and that's the fuck. Thing about people that have kids, they ain't got shit to do with it. It's not that we saying we okay with it. What we're accepting but is that it's going to happen mom, regardless of what you try to regardless. control. But that's what I'm saying with that mom. With, uh, uh, so you uh, saying what she should do is just let her son go out there and drink and smoke by herself and get in trouble and yeah, whatever like, come with yeah, it, come with. You no, don't need to be that's in front not of being us. a great parent. It's not being a great parent letting your 19-year-old no, smoke No, what's being a great be parent is understanding that they're going to do shit as kids <laughs> but help them want. protect and guide them along the way that they're right, going to do anyway. And, right, mm. so go be with your friends on, because you 19. So you're saying go do that shit with your friends. Don't, don't do it with no adults. And you're saying you're going to do it regardless. So it don't matter. Don't press that shit on me. don't need to be in front of us If he get to that point, I'm going to be like, son, I know you out here trying to fuck something. Just bring the girl over here. Go to your room. Close but that's the lock different. The door. Them is yeah. minors. So I think that y'all, yeah, y'all that's making so two wrong. different points though. You're making the point of it Even being around adults. Shit. If my, if I know my son, so if you I would bring your child. You would bring your child, 18, 19, to come smoke and drink around your peers. Well, of your I'm peers. Not, if, if she was, I feel like her mindset. She was caught between. Wanting to spend time with her child for Easter. That's not a child. I also, it, no, you got to understand child, though, child, when you're so. a parent, your child, your child is always, always going to be. Yeah, it's always I be a get that kid. part of it, but your child is not a child when he is 19 and he's actually no, a grown adult. I'm not missing it. You I'm are. Personally. You don't have kids. It don't matter. When my son about turned 30, kids. to me, he's still a child. Right, and I get that point because my you mom treats me the same way. I don't have to have kids. They get. They still a child. It doesn't matter. But a 30 year old sitting amongst their peers is different from a 19 year old sitting amongst 40. 30 year olds and 30 year olds talking about grown shit and you 19 living in your mama house yeah, at, at 19 it's just, it's and you're, a different you can't, mindset if we want to go to the club afterwards you can't even come mm. why do you think that's okay but then i also the same, think that y'all are making two different points yeah because he yeah. keeps talking about you know, i don't have kids points. and stuff that doesn't mean anything that because has to do with a it different if mindset i don't want it ain't no damn different you mindset kids, if you, <laughs> you don't want to be around that shit you can't get pissed you're gonna end up accepting and it's certain shit that you should like make other people so let me ask you this so let me ask you this you can't get mad when don't nobody else want to agree with your bad behavior as a parent i don't want to really like let me ask you this though so you have your child whatever you don't smoke you don't you barely drink right but you have a child who smokes and drinks are you going to still have your allow your child to do that amongst you no so because you don't do these things no it's not about that i don't do them i don't I'm, it's not you just I, don't want that shit around you i'm not gonna condone that okay yeah who, who i don't think that that's pushing any child in the right direction if you're condoning them smoking and drinking i just feel like we all done did shit you know what, let me say this let me say this though i grew up with it and it, my mom was very strict growing up right and there was a lot of things that i did that i felt like i was sneaking and that i'm exactly. doing and if she would have been a little bit more open to like me just being honest about what i had going on i probably wouldn't have been doing all exactly. the stuff that i was that's doing. that's what they say the shit that you try to because i had a friend she was a hoe and, and that's because her dad was on her do. back if you forcing your kids, don't be smoking, don't be drinking, don't be fucking. That's the shit they're gonna be like. Well, damn, why? I need to go do it. Do? I need to figure out what's going on because that's what I used to. Adam do. and Eve with the My apple mom tree. used to despise the smoking shit. Used to despise the drinking. I used to be on the side of the house trying to hit a blunt with my friends, coughing my fucking lungs out, <laughs> not knowing what I'm doing. But it was just like I need to feel what it's like because she's telling me not to do it. So it's, it's like it's that teenage urge exactly. to just do it because but I can't do it. But if they're committed to doing it and they're doing that and living that. All you can do is help protect them and guide them and help them sh instead of shunning them and letting them. I don't think that you would be shunning them, but do you think get away and going in trouble? And so going what to would jail. you do if your child was smoking and drinking and you don't condone that type of stuff? If they nineteen, they don't need to be drinking in front of me. If that's something you're doing because you in college, go do that with your you're friends. Not gonna drink in my house at nineteen. You saying go do that with your little friends? If you in college, do whatever college people do. I don't have to. I, I can't stop you in college. So you would just you're telling my me house you don't have to. What do about like teenage though? What take, about take, you're nineteen? What you gonna do really for real? For real? But you're not gonna do it in my house. And get what you said. You, uh, you not. I'm not gonna condone yeah, underage drinking. Strict ass mama. That's it's not, not about mama. that. I'm not gonna be sitting up there pouring up drinking mimosas with my child at 19. I'm not doing that. Yeah, I, yeah. that's my, not my peer. My, my growing yeah. up stages. My mom was more strict when I was younger, but as I got older, my mom wasn't like that. But, she under, was more cool. but understand, mm -hmm, I used same. to teach too. Yeah. So I under, you got to understand from a teacher's perspective when you see kids that actually have parents versus 
kids that have they don't, friends. Yeah. That are babysitting yep. them. Because yep. a lot of dads say You can I'm see babysitting. that young, too. Because yes. I used to teach third and fourth grade. And you could tell I the difference in the yesterday, behavior. yesterday. We had meditation. The, mm-hmm. the mom said, hey, everybody, I'm meditating, y'all. I'm Coco. The little helper in the corner who's seven, <laughs> seven years old talk about, your name ain't no Coco. That's because mm. y'all friends. Yeah. My mama and my daddy would have. They, they weren't we strict clean parents, it up real by the way. They weren't strict parents. My grandparents were. And my grandparents had to raise me for an amount of time because of my parents' work schedule. And they were down here. Sometimes I was in Detroit or in D.C. So a lot of times I was away from my parents. But at the same time, that wouldn't have flown. It, you got you to gotta separate the boundaries sometimes. Yeah, my That's parenting is just a hard thing. My damn lips <laughs> is numb. <laughs> Well, we're back. We parenting is difficult up. though. Parenting is hard. And I'm not even. Yeah, I'm not even a parent, but I can tell it's hard. Yeah, it yeah. is. Because you don't know somebody. what your child's personality is going to be like. You don't you know, know what their mental struggles are going to be like. You don't know how child. easily they succumb to peer pressure. You don't. Or how easily they're influenced. It's a lot that day comes day with it. It's a mud. It's a mud. Yeah. So Especially with the internet. I feel like you got to keep them tight. And I used to teach 9th, 10th, and 11th grade too, not just middle schoolers. So I know you got to ease up. You can't be all strict. Too hard. But at the same time, that's why kids hide that they get. I they, agree they with you. a lot of shit. I do That's agree why I with you that on that perspective, but I, yeah. I can't green light certain things. Like, I'm not going to condone it. I you ain't green lighting it, but... Do but I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to check you off and on you're it. you're not going to sit... Because yeah. when, when has it ever been cool in our day and age for you to sit some, around your mama peers and be like, what up, girl? How you doing, bitch? Yeah, our parents are not I like that. I ain't going to lie. Man, my mama friends used to be trying to fuck on but me, that's, so it's a but different That's because your mama friends is weird. Yeah, yeah but I'm just saying... I'm just <laughs> saying it needs and, to go to jail. Yeah. Still to this day, it needs to be in jail. culture, like, you know, most people, they mamas and dad... Once they mamas and friends came over, you weren't finna you ain't winning. You didn't even want to sit around them. Yeah, it's a different. So that's mindset. what I'm saying. Like, but why, a lot of these younger kids want to be grown, though. A lot of these younger kids want to be grown. Want to be. He should definitely be with his own people smoking and drinking. I mean, yeah. 19 though. <laughs> Yes, I was afraid. Well, I was, I, I, you know, I will say this. My, I my, okay, comment. hold on. Before I make this comment, Vaughn, don't do too much. Ooh, but I will say my ex boyfriend, when I used to, <laughs> <laughs> when I used to be around his family and stuff, his mom wouldn't drink around us, but his dad would smoke cigars, would encourage him to smoke cigars with him. You know, so I do think it's a, a parental thing. I oh, think. So you was in a serious relationship. You just met his family. I told you she I had a boyfriend from age well, we 15. Ain't gonna go through that. To 22. We didn't did this already. We didn't gaslight us enough this bro, episode. Gone, the gaslight divine is closed for the episode. You should just put like a little uh, flame emoji for the, it's, the title. It's of this. closed. The gaslight is the second with this time man. y'all done fucking got me drunk. Because <laughs> I'm over here and I'm feeling my lips and I'm like. You know how when the doctor no. like shoot no. the wisdom to you? Yeah. My lips are numb so as fuck. So my lip right never now. got unnumbed. Is that bad? Also, the type no. of glass you have is different. So yeah, we you probably have more. You probably have more champagne yeah. than we did. My lip my ain't never come. I'm just hung over from last night. My release party was amazing. I had a great we time. We was going to talk about Suki walking like a dog for Emily Chopper. but we all thought that shit was Shout crazy. Out to the submissive yeah, woman crazy. Being freaky. For, uh, <laughs> gas, now she mad as hell. Hey. She's like, hold on now, nigga. Don't do too much. Don't let her cap y'all down. That motherfucker be doing that type of shit for me too. But Suki, don't let so what you be doing? Not, what you be doing for her is the next question. Oh, we don't are let not, her cap y'all down. But Suki and Lali and Ali are not in a relationship. This wasn't no leak video. This was, it was for a video. Put, they just put the, the app. They just put. But the I think I say yeah. I think that she's willing to have. I think one thing about her that I like that a lot of people don't like is that she don't give a fuck. Now I don't agree with everything that she does, but she don't care. Like she gonna go that extra mile and do the extra wild shit for the money. For the money, number one, that's her. She's made it clear. Yeah. She gonna she do it for a bag. She's from a very she underserved a bag. Yeah. background. Yeah, and it's I the think money. I think at least the reason I have a lot of respect, quote unquote, for her is because at least she's clear about why she do it. Exactly. I, like I, she's not I, doing it just for I attention. She's like, it ain't no money attached. Is she uh, a hoe? I don't or know. Or does she just, is she a freak? Because there's a difference. I, I think she's just living in I her truth. I think she's very unladylike. I think she's just a freak. Like, she's just, yeah, she's just very sexually yeah, open. Yeah, I think it's inappropriate. I think to be having sex on, like, the with the guy being or whatever. And but you, just, you're, like, a good girl, though. You I'm know, not you no good girl. Y'all really got me twisted. I'm not you no just good wouldn't girl. Be, I'm I saying you wouldn't that, be doing none of that You wouldn't in public You would be having sex on camera. Y'all be so cap, I know what y'all be... Y'all be out here. Ain't no here. capping me. Ain't no capping me. I can't if say y'all I, I niggas can't say told I y'all get on your knees and walk to that me. That is not, sir. W- what the it hell? Depend, no, I it depends. I wouldn't do that with my girl because I'm the more dominant one. I'm but just saying. I wouldn't mm-hmm. be doing that because that's have my girl very do that. cap is hell, But I, at the same time, Suki was doing that with somebody she was featured with in a video. It's just a video. 
Oh, so you don't care then? Hey, a yeah, lot of people are slam that shit though. But so. on, in real life, if I tell, hey, babe, but we go over there and walk life. to and crawl to me, she gonna do that. And Ali Chopper, we be on that type like of time. And Ali like Chopper is a very interesting character to me because he he really has like good control over women. I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that at all. So and there's a lot Chopper of things I would do, but that's here, not it. Bro. I wouldn't do that. He was trying to make the point that it so was I wouldn't get on down on my knees and dog onto my girl. That you was meeting parents no, with. No. I'm going to tell you right now, respectfully to him, no. I, I'm not even going to disrespect him like that. I, we can I talk about We can talk about it off camera, but lying. he lying he what? could tell you himself that that would never go down with him. It's nothing. Women don't lose their strongness of being a woman by being submissive to a man. It actually makes you there's different it's levels point. of submissiveness. It though. actually makes you by crawling to your nigga and being on some free shit. It's not being Craw- strong. Crawling. I mean, it's anyway, sexual. It's different types. Of, it's different types of crawling. Right. Are we like, hey, yeah, hey, are daddy? we? Are or we? Or is it like, like mm, daddy here? Are, are we, we like, like a dog? Like, that's it's a little bit too much. It's two different types of crawling. Like you want some sexy shit? I'm talking about okay, sexy is different. That's fine. Sexual setting that is degrading. Yeah, if it's in a sexual you setting, then fine. It to the video. I'm not comparing it to I'm no comparing video. It if to we're not life. in the act of having sexual, yeah, act, that's what that's I'm meaning. No, he's saying sexually. That's what I mean. He's saying oh, sexually. Yeah. Yeah. Like, sexually, sexually is fine. Shit, like, yeah, like, that's fine. Crawling, crawling is fine. Daddy, I think like, it's corny. My nigga, my dude. I don't have. I don't mess with dudes that do little corny stuff like that. I'd be. Why do you think it's corny? I would laugh. I don't know. I don't think it's corny. I just think you know. But I am a firm believer in actually taking the BDS. We talked about this before, but I'm a I'm a firm believer in. I'm a firm believer in taking the BDSM test because that allows you to really know what a your partner's. Test? Yeah. It's a I, test that I actually, agree. it allows you to know I, what you, no, listen, listen. Everything. But listen, it allows you to know you the really kinks know that your, your partner, partner has. Yeah. Exactly. And that helps you better sexually please your partner. So yes, I would say take the test. We're because if I know test, what man. I. <laughs> We're take that test. She is rolling her ass so crazy. And she she ready. Did, though. She, she going to take that test. She a Virgo. I know she with it. We would be with a lot of shit. <laughs> we not as innocent she as we were trying to make a sound to me. She's trying to act like that, but y'all. She listen, really about that shit with I'm me. a Virgo. I know. We got it. We got this heavenly image, but I know who we really are for real. I get it. But that's why I encourage people, especially couples, to take that test because once you do, you can please your partner. It's more than just your love languages. It's just more than how you how you love. Because once you know how to sexually please your partner, to me, that helps the longevity of the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But we've been rapping, y'all. We got to wrap it up. I know, y'all. I got a going away party to go to. And hey, I got, man. I got this a is another episode, function. episode 13. Yes. We had a great, great time. This is great. We was arguing um, like a motherfucker. I love arguing with y'all. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Cause I'm used to arguing with niggas and then shooting it out later. Yeah, cause they, they, get, <laughs> <laughs> cause they be in their feelings. Yeah, they be in their feelings. Yeah, I'm we're, used we're to gonna keep it to how y'all yeah. talking about the sisters and brothers yeah. type thing. It's, it's all I'm love used to arguing with exactly. niggas exactly. and then it really exactly. be beef. Like, yeah, nah. yeah, yeah, yeah like niggas really be mad argument. though. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know but I also so I can also argue with you and have a different perspective, and I don't have to take it personally. Cause sometimes I argue with y'all. Cause that ain't my fiance. Sometimes I argue with y'all, and then later on I'll be like, damn, they probably was right, or just a different mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, gotta, I don't give a damn. I ain't got y'all no do. Y'all, I will say that y'all do talking. provide me with a lot of different perspectives outside of exactly. what I use. I be pulling myself, my hair so I appreciate out. that for y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate that too, man. I just really feel like you was trolling us, though. I feel like you was trolling us. I was serious, though. I don't think you was. I don't think you was real. If we don't leave with nothing. That's what your girl to have to deal with. She finna cuss your ass out after the episode, so it's okay. She gonna cuss your ass out. I hope you know what's coming. Understand, my whole point was, I'm not agreeing with... I don't want to hear no more. I'm not agreeing with what the nigga did. I hear you, but your girl is gonna cuss you the fuck out when this is over. If he don't know he was doing something wrong, because you ain't say no. How does he know it's wrong? <laughs> Just let me know how how bad you cuss him out when this is over. Wrap it up, cause I don't want right, to hear it. We, we are episode here. thirteen. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>I'm like, I'm going to die. Because I, I knew I got hit so many times. I was like, oh, yeah, it's over with. This is dying. That's, That's their new <laughs> name. We got to call them that. <laughs> he kind of said it. He was like, my ideal girl, the girl that I'm going to be with.